So I recently shot a new music video in the snow, which meant that everything was white. Then I wanted to get a shot where everything should be in focus, so what did I do? I, of course, closed the aperture down to like 14, which resulted in this. You could see all the ugly, filthy dirt on the camera sensor. Normally when you shoot on a wide aperture, like 1.4 or even 2.0, like right now, you can't see any dirt on the camera. But if you close it down on a bright sunny day and you want to get everything sharp and don't care about a blurry background, things will turn out different when you see every little spot of dust on the camera. So today we're going to take a look on how to clean the camera sensor. Okay, so first up, I'm using my Sony a7S II for this example. Even though it's my second a7S II because my first one was stolen, this one still has been through a lot. So how can we see where there are the most dirt spots on the camera sensor? You should take a white piece of paper, for example, I'm taking one from my printer right here. Just a fresh and clean white paper, put it right here. Then you turn on your camera, of course the lens cap needs to be off. And I'm filming so you should see what I'm doing. And then you close the aperture down to, close it down all the way to 22. I'm on 22, maybe your camera goes to 32, but mine goes to 22. And then we're going to turn the ISO all the way up. And now you can see all the little dirt spots and hairs and stuff on the camera. Here are some and here, this is disgusting. Okay, so now how can we clean it? Of course there is a cleaning program built into almost every professional camera, I think. There are in Canon cameras, even in the smaller ones, and also of course in the Sony cameras. So I'll just navigate to it in the menu. Then we take off the lens, don't expose the sensor too long because of course it will get more dirt in it. And then we press execute and do the cleaning of the sensor. It vibrates it a little bit, and then you have to turn off the camera and you can turn it back on. But if you're now going to your piece of paper again, you can see that not a lot has been done to the camera sensor because almost everything is still on the camera sensor. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It always depends on, I guess, how sticky the dirt on the camera sensor is. But for now, let's just pretend it didn't work. And now I'm going to show you how you can manually clean the sensor. Okay, so first up, I'm not using compressed air for this one. It can be pretty useful. Of course, you'd have to put the long thing on, but I'm not going to do it right now because we're not going to use it. It can be pretty handy for cleaning the dirt on the camera, like just brush it off a little bit. But of course, you have to be very careful. And also, you shouldn't turn it upside down because, as you see, it turns into a coldness, cooling, compressed gas duster. It's just below zero and you don't want to freeze your sensor. But this looks pretty cool. Anyways, even if you don't turn it upside down and just use decompressed air, it's still too strong for the sensor, at least in my opinion. You can try it, but I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend you use one of these. This comes with basically every cleaning tool kit you could buy on Amazon. You can just blow the dust right off the lens or the sensor or whatever. You can use it in many ways. I'm just gonna give you one pro tip. If you open up the camera, I've seen a lot of people just blowing in like this, but I wouldn't recommend doing it because if you blow it, just you're just gonna blow the dirt in the camera. Why would you do that? Turn it upside down, just like when cleaning it with the in-camera cleaning program. Then you just brush it off. Of course, be careful that you don't touch the sensor with this thing. Just keep your distance and just give it a few blows inside of the camera. Then you can stick the lens back on and you're good to go for your next shoot. If it doesn't help, sometimes even this little blowy thing can't properly clean your sensor. I just recommend you send it into your camera manufacturer or where you bought the camera. Sometimes they offer a cleaning service. Sometimes you have to send it like to, for example, Sony or Canon. There are some toolkits that you can use to clean your sensor yourself. But I mean, you could do it, but I wouldn't take the risk. I'd just send it in and they'll clean it off. But of course the drawback is you don't have camera while your camera is sent in. But maybe you can borrow a camera from a friend or you go on holiday if that's possible ever again. Anyways, there is a link to this little cleaning tool kit down in the description. It also comes with a brush for your lens and a cleaning cloth, a microfabric cloth that you can use to wipe on your lens. But please, don't use it on your sensor. Don't do that. That's it from this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more amazing filmmaking content just like this little tip right here. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye.